So with this week we launched our first two clients for mobile marketing. So we have two clients in New York we've got live this week. And very recently we launched iPad applications for broadcasting to the Irish market. And we're looking to identify partners in the US to help us expand our business. And we've had, a, we've had great interest this week from carriers, from device manufacturers, from uh, direct marketing companies, TV, All right, I'm in the wrong spot. I'll local be right newspapers, etc. So, you know, fantastic. Okay, within the Irish market, we have three, we do three things. We build mobile sites and apps for clients, particularly focused on the media sector. So we've done that for national broadcasters, radio stations, etc. We then have a mobile marketing team that work with advertisers and ad agencies to create mobile sites, to create mobile landing pages, to, uh, to bring uh, QR codes and SMS into advertising campaigns. And lastly, we have a mobile advertising network that sells advertising on behalf of BBC.com, RTE, etc. A total of about 25 different media companies. But certainly over the last year, at this time last year when we looked at our, our client base, it was probably 80% of our revenues were coming from the content industry, so ringtones, games, etc. Things that you could absolutely download directly to the device itself. This year, 80%, probably even 90% of our business is coming from ad agencies and the brands. So pretty much most campaigns that you'd see on outdoor or TV now have a mobile element to them. And our company's been in a good position. We've worked closely with the ad agencies to pick up on a lot of that business. Most advertising, uh, most publishers, ad agencies, etc., would certainly show maybe 25% decline in advertising spend. Probably a lot of uncertainty about budgets, visibility in terms of being able to spend money is somewhat shorter. However, we've seen a dramatic pickup in the first quarter of this year. So once we got the, the budget behind us and once we got you know a better handle on how things how people that you know were gonna be affected in terms of their monthly income, budgets began to flow again. So we've had our best month yet in our business in March uh, and we're growing at a very significant rate. I think the original display ads that we, you know, the banner ads, let's say, that ended out on the mobile internet, uh, you know, they're still around, but not as effective as in-app advertising, rich media advertising being delivered in app, iPhone applications, Android applications. We're seeing huge growth, and that's where most of the, the spend is going. Alongside that, if you build an application for your company, you want to promote it within app advertising, but you also want to embed codes and coupons into your outdoor advertising, your print advertising. So mobile marketing, mobile advertising, it's, it's, it's a combination of display advertising on the device and bringing codes and SMS, etc., into your outdoor advertising. And we're really seeing companies adopt this very, very quickly and understand what's happening. Building a database of people who want to interact with your brand and opting in to be told more about, the, about your products is a very powerful way of communicating. 